कि ओके दिस लॉट ऑफ ब्लॉट वेयर वेल आई स्टिल से कि वी वर रिलेटिवली मच लेसर देन अदर सो कॉल्ड नोन ब्रांड्स बट वी थॉट लेट्स मेक अ फोन व्हिच इज मेड फॉर गेमिंग वी वांट टू ऑफर कंज्यूमर्स समथिंग वेरी यूनिक इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज़ एडी आई एम देवी शी सरकार एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द बजट स्मार्टफोन मार्केट सेगमेंट इन इंडिया राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव अ बजट ऑफ वन 10 टू 15000 और 20000 यू रियली डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ चॉइस बट थैंक्स टू वन ब्रांड इनफिनिक्स दे आर गिविंग एम्पल चॉइस वी इफ यू हैव अ बजट ऑफ अराउंड 7000 8000 10000 टू 2000 एंड नाउ दे हैव वेंचर्ड इनटू अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी ऑलटुगेदर गेमिंग स्मार्टफोन्स दैट टू 120000 Now, today I have a very special guest with me, the CEO of Infinix, Mr. Anish Kapoor, and thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you so and much. And can you just tell us how are you still managing to launch so many smartphones in the budget category? Why? Firstly, thanks <laughs> for launching because a lot of people are trying to save the hard-earned money. How are you managing this in this kind of market conditions? See, I think uh, very, very uh, interesting question. But uh, the reality is, India is a budget country. It's a value-conscious market, and uh, people love. a great value for money product and that's what we strive to do right uh, most of the market really uh, i think 85 90% of the market is sitting below 25000 so it makes it very logical that we continue to focus on these categories right. and uh, that's what we are doing and uh, we are trying to identify gaps ki aap ki what do we do how do we make things happen or how do we create a better value proposition mm-hmm. so keeping that in mind this uh, new series have been launched right and uh, you know when have you talked to other competitors and other brands first thing is that the reason you are not interested in the budget segment is there is not much margins involved but at the same time if you if you follow infinix not only are constantly present over there you have also cut off your bloatwares and like bloatwares was one of the way to earn revenue again what is like the magic marketing formula that you are using <laughs> so uh, it's a it's a it's a double whammy actually so i'll, I'll it's it's all about creating a right consumer experience so right. i think a lot of feedback which used to come to us uh ki okay there's a lot of bloat here well mm. i still say ki we were relatively much lesser than other so called known brands mm-hmm. but uh, we were being called out mm-hmm. but uh, when we started working on gt series ki this there's a space for us to create something for the gaming community right or e gamers or uh, or e sports essentially wherein mm-hmm. uh all the phones look the same and uh, uh, probably lot of people say ki it's a performance phone capable right. of gaming right but we thought let's make a phone which is made for gaming right. for a gaming community that's how you see this what you hold a beautiful device in your hand so this uh, cyber mecha design was uh, created in mm-hmm. fact we have created a, a software integration as well right and um, then we removed all the bloatware to make the experience even better mm-hmm. and uh, put all the best of the hardware mm-hmm. so dimensity 8050 right 8256 mm-hmm. capable of going to 16 gb 5000 mah battery right it has uh, uh, the full hd screen 120 hertz refresh rate 360 hertz uh, uh, touch sampling rate right uh, so it makes a complete gaming device which you are uh, i mean you love to carry so if you're carrying a phone today you know it's a i'm a avid gamer as well right you know as you're totally focused in the budget segment how do you see the consumer changes differ from those looking at buying the premium segment phones and those who are a bit budget conscious see see again it's a it's a again a choice uh, right. people so dumb people really run after a brand mm-hmm. because it is a brand mm-hmm. but whether it is capable of offering this kind of value proposition i'm not right. very sure right. what we are trying to do is uh, while we are creating our own brand story mm-hmm. we are trying to create our own path we want to offer consumers something very unique in terms of experience right in terms of a uh, uh, hardware and uh, so that's the intent so that's the basic uh, philosophy which we work on ki how do we break through each of the category we enter into whether it's a smartphone laptop tvs so this is something which we have been doing as a team and right. we definitely believe in that. and one last question is that you know given the constant fluctuations of rupees and dollars and the both taxations rules are changing Do you think going forward to sustain this growth, you will have to eventually venture into the premium segment as well for Infinix? So I'll say we are already. Uh, so I think focus is very clearly we want to uh, go from fifteen to thirty thousand price points. Mm-hmm. Uh, we launched Note Thirty series. Right. Uh, we have launched the GT series today. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be focusing on Zero series, which is our flagship series. 
So uh, if you look at the overall market dynamics, uh, sub 30,000, which is our mid-premium budget to mid-premium segment, will be close to 90 to 95% of the market. Right. So when you are taking care of the chunk of the market, I don't think so uh, really need to do much more than that. But yes, as and when opportunity arises, we'll see how to go in that path as well. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. So it was lovely talking to you. Same here. This Thank is you Devi so Chistakar signing off for Newsy TV.